Hi all, this is a brief overview of annotated bibliographies. When I talk about annotated bibliographies, I'm often asked why they're necessary. There are a number of reasons to do an annotated bibliography. One of these is that an annotated bibliography allows you to get a sense of the scholarly conversation. What is being talked about in the area or field you're studying? Having a grasp of the scholarly conversation helps you to demonstrate expertise in your area. It also helps you to put any of the research you're conducting, like interviews, surveys, or experiments, in a wider context. The research you do for your annotated bibliography can help show how your project fits into what's already been written on your topic. Is your research filling a gap or replicating an existing study, for example? Most importantly, an annotated bibliography helps you to better understand your project and prepare for writing a literature review. Speaking of which, I wanted to clear up some differences between annotated bibliographies and literature reviews. While a literature review analyzes and demonstrates connections between articles, an annotated bibliography summarizes and provides analysis of each article one by one. By focusing on each article one at a time, the annotated bibliography prepares you to draw the kinds of connections you'll need to in your literature review. There are a few different annotation styles that your professor might recommend. The first is summary, descriptive, informative annotation style, where the goal is to summarize your source and provide an objective overview of the author's methods and conclusions. The second is the critical or evaluative annotation style, in which the goal is to provide some summary, but to focus primarily on evaluating the source by noting any biases or missing evidence. Critical or evaluative annotations may also address whether a source is useful or not useful to your area of study or how it may or may not inform your study. Finally, and most common, are combination annotations, where your professor might ask you to combine elements of both summary and critical annotations to different extents. For this reason, make sure to review your annotated bibliography assignment closely and ask your professor follow-up questions if the annotation format they prefer is unclear. Here's an example of a combination annotation for the book Nickel and Dimed. Some things to note about this sample. First, it's for a book. While annotated bibliography assignments often focus on research articles, it's worth noting that you can write an annotation for almost any type of source. Second, this annotation begins with a citation, followed by the annotation related to that citation. In an annotated bibliography, you will list a number of these citation annotation pairs, one after the other. Third, this annotation is made up of two short paragraphs. Annotations are generally short somewhere between one paragraph and one page, since the goal is to communicate the essence of the source, not every detail. Finally, in this combination annotation, the first paragraph summarizes the source, while the second paragraph provides an analysis of the work. Now that we have reviewed the purpose and format of annotated bibliographies, here are some next steps to get you started. First, prepare for your research. This probably includes identifying a topic and brainstorming the questions you wanna answer and the types of information you might need to answer them. Next, take some time to get comfortable with the library website and library resources. Third, begin researching. There's no way to see what challenges or opportunities you'll confront unless you get started. You'll also wanna review current citation guidelines. If you're using APA style for your annotated bibliography, check out the APA style blog. Just search APA style blog online for instructions on how to handle unusual cases. Finally, if you have questions about research, citation, or your annotated bibliography assignment in general, contact a librarian for assistance. As I mentioned in the last slide, help is available. Visit www.oit.edu forward slash library for more information.